now I'm actually uh, tearing apart my saw trailer um, for a good reason, I would say. So you can see right now, oh my god, the spring is so uh, so tight in there because of the weight of the steel. But I can't push the fucking thing down. So you can see the old tracks in there. I'm um, starting with these ones because those ones might work, but you're asking why you changed your tracks out, dude. What'd you do? Like, what'd you break? What'd you get? What'd you break? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going from the forest track, six inch track, and you know, cutting and welding and whatnot. And I'm gonna go slowly walk in the shop and show you something. So let's keep this out of frame. This is my old saw right here, old Target Pro 65 3 Series diesel. Pretty nice. Um, the problem with this thing, it gives me a lot of issues. Um, issues like just stupid stuff like sewing noise or wiring or something stupid and then it cost me a whole day of saw cutting because I had to go run 30 miles away to get parts and no one carries parts for these old socks they don't make anymore so long story short I won't really hide it anymore um, got a new saw yeah so if you're wondering why I sold my truck this would be a good reason why um, this is a 2019 FS 7000D Husqvarna uh, with a Dewitt's engine, uh, three cylinder, almost pretty much the same engine. Not, uh, well, I shouldn't say pretty much, but same engine manufacturer, same numbers of cylinders, same roughly sized turbo, but a lot different computer mumbo jumbo. And this one give me as many issues while it's new compared to this thing. I mean, literally every time I get to a big job on this thing, something breaks on it. So I literally had a mental breakdown. I said, F it. Um, I, I sold that Subaru. Oh, I bought a Subaru, by the way. I bought an STI, and I sold it, and I had some cash laying around. So I went and threw down uh, a lot of money <laughs> on this thing, and now um, there you go. This is going to make me a lot of money one day. So hopefully this summer, this thing will be paid off right away and make me some money. So, yeah. So anyways, we'll go into the features it has. Nice little screen it got here. Yeah. It looks. Well, it doesn't look that good in camera, but... In person, it's like super high res. It's kind of cool. I actually surprised at this good of a screen. So, anyways, uh, the coolest thing I have on here is the um, tracking. So the axle will track if I click a button. It's pretty sick. So watch this. Ready? Been up here. Watch my axle start to move. See that? Nuts. So that means why you're asking why do axles move on saws is because when you're cutting down, depending on what you're cutting, what your blade you're using, and blah blah, a lot of different variables, your saw will tend to pull to the right. So your axle is crooked to the left to the left to counter it. So this on my old saw, I had to undo six bolts and move it manually. It never was right, so it always is a struggle. This thing, you click a click a button, you're going straight to zero. And then when you want to make your arrow or make your axle straight again, click that button in the middle and it auto goes back in the middle by itself. So you can slowly see it. Yeah. It's pretty sick. Um, if you don't saw cut, you don't really understand that. But then, um, so there's a couple of other features on here. Um, being the blade depth thing. So why is it not focusing? So it's the blade depth too, it's pretty cool. So basically I can set it right here. Damn, I wish I would, why is it not focusing? There it is. So I can set it right here, and then let's pretend. Let's pretend that my blade is, there's a blade on here right now, right? And I want to cut in the ground. So I want to go, let's say I want to cut, um, that's pretty bad, I'm sorry. So I want to cut like five inches to that. So right now, it says I'm zero. That means my blade's just above the ground. So, and this is accurate into 0.25 millimeters. It's, it's, it's pretty nuts. So, so I wanted to go down, right? I start bringing it down two or three inches, four, four and a quarter, five, and then it'll stop. It won't only go anymore unless I put the depth to go more and it goes down. So it's pretty sweet. So that means you can focus on your, your straightness and whatnot from, uh, you know, you can focus more on cutting than actually where the blade is set because it has preset sensors and whatnot in there, so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's fire this thing up. You probably want to hear it, so. It does have emissions on it, which is kind of crazy, but. 
I can't believe I own this thing. It's fucking wicked. You got your temp gauge right here. You can switch from engine RPM. Oh, shoot, the wrong button. Well, <laughs> there's your water shut off. If you have, um, let's say you turn your water on and off. So basically, if you don't have water in it, it would just do what I just did on accident because I'm an idiot and I'm getting new to this thing. It will basically shut the machine off. So there's a sensor in here as your water comes in. If you have no water pressure, it will turn the machine off right away. So sucks. it kind of sucks a little bit because if someone is driving over your hose and you cut your water off completely, it will turn the whole saw off, which is kind of stupid, but what can you do? Anyways, here's a new saw. Um, I can make a review of it if people were interested. There's not any, I mean, there's literally no videos of anybody on YouTube with this saw. So, um, if you guys would like my input, I'm going to be running the show of this thing because I got to pay for it now. <laughs> so, yeah, the saw cutting's going real well. I just, I kind of up, I, I mean, I have too many jobs to where I can't be using this thing anymore. It's just not reliable enough. It's going to be a backup saw and, you know, it's not that it's unreliable. It's just, it does good work and it's a good saw. It's just, uh, I have too many issues all the time because I don't know if I'm beating the shit out of it or if it just can't handle what I'm doing or if I'm putting me too, too many hours on it at a time. With I don't know, and I maintain my shit pretty well too. I mean, obviously right now it's dirty, but I can't. I blew a solenoid in it, so this is what happened. So I can go, I can go up, but I can't go down. So it's just stupid. It's a little Ford so solenoid for. Um, it's a little stupid so I can go to O'Reilly's and get, but I just didn't. I literally raged so hard I was like, "Fuck it, I'm going to buy a brand new saw," and so I did. And uh, this is going to be money. I'm happy with my purchase. My truck is sitting right here. That's how much these things cost. I'm not even kidding you. These things are very expensive. Like, you wouldn't believe. Like, the Platinum, what I sold it for, I sold it for about five grand more than this is worth. Yeah, I'll let this sink in. <laughs> not even five grand, really. Yeah, so, uh, I have a lot of work to do to pay this thing off. And, yeah, boys. So, we'll make some videos of it. Cool. I'm real excited. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Like, comment, let me know what you think of Husqvarna. Sorry, Core Cut boys, I think Husky makes a better saw. So, it's personal preference, I guess, right? It's like Ford versus Chevy. But I'm always right. Peace out.